Cancer, what is up? It's your girl Cat. It's Water Sign Wednesday, and right now we're gonna do your reading for the week. Let's see what we got. All right. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Nice to see you. I do the water signs every Wednesday. <clears throat> and if you're um, a returning, uh, what am I trying to say? Watcher, oh, yes. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button for me. Join the cat, Scorpio cat family. Come on, do it. Anyway, let's see what we got, Cancer. So if I remember last week, you had a really good week ahead, right? It was supposed to be really great things, blessings in store for you. Oh, look at the bottom of the decks, Ten of Cups. Let's see what we got. All right. Nine of Cups. Queen of Cups. Knight of Cups. Nine of Pentacles, ooh, Judgment, Seven of Pentacles, the Tower, oh, hi, okay, um, King of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. <laughs> All right, so overall, I feel like I'm getting good energy. I feel like this is good reading. All right. Let me take a look. So we got... Um, Cups and Pentacles seems to be the theme. Working on your money? You got a raise? Something good happened? Let me know in the comments. Um, something good with your money, I feel like, happened here. Um, mm -hmm. You're happy, right? Doing good? Wishing for something. Something's, something's off. Queen of Cups. Loving, caring, nurturing, right? I don't feel like this is love related. I feel like this was an offer. I feel like you got a raise, a promotion, or something happened to put you in a more independent state. So I think something good happened. And I feel like you got a second chance at something here. But I feel like you had to wait for it because it was a tower moment, right? But you're coming out of the other side of that now. You're more stable. You're more secure, right? You're in a, in a very um, established state doing well. Could be thinking about marrying somebody or there could be a legal matter at hand. Or it could have something to do with like, um, I don't know if you're a student, possibly your student could have something to do with school because the Hierophant's all about institution, right? So I feel like it either has something to do with school or marriage. Something like that. Maybe church. Some of you go to church. All right. So. So far, what I'm getting is you're happy. You're doing well. Um, feeling emotionally good. I think you got some kind of offer that puts you in a better position and it came with a second chance at something. You had to wait for a little bit after a tower moment. Something unexpected happened to you. Something fell through. Something you were counting on didn't work out. Something like that. So you had to wait a little while. Maybe you were using the powers of manifestation and that's fantastic if you were. That's great. It worked. <laughs> all right and now you're in a more stable position and you're either thinking about going back to school or you're in school or thinking about getting married there's some kind of conflict surrounding you in your home life i think you're thinking about asking someone to marry you or accepting a marriage proposal But there's some kind of controversy surrounding that. Either somebody's going to be hurt by that or your children won't accept it or like something like that. You know what I mean? There's some kind of like conflict surrounding it. Yeah, things are coming back around for you. I think you had a rough spot for a while there. 
but things are looking good. Queen of Wands. Could be, could be getting a lot of attention right now. A lot of people um, attracted to you could be having multiple offers. Hmm. And the high priestess is using your intuition, listening to that inner voice. You know what? I just noticed both of these cards, there's a cat, right? Cat. There's cats in these cards. Cats are known to be very intuitive animals. Maybe you're picking up something intuitively or you're trusting your intuition on something. Mm -hmm. All right, let's clarify some of this. All right, why is the Nine of Cups here? What's that all about? You're doing good, but something's missing. You're wishing for something. What's that about? Hmm, an offer of love. Maybe you're wanting, I love it when they jump. Oh, hanging on to something. I feel like maybe you're hanging on to a relationship that maybe has seen better days. Oh, I think you went through a financial hardship recently and I think maybe that put some strain on your relationship. But I think you're wanting to um, you're wanting to marry this person. Watching. I think you're watching their social media, or they're watching yours. Somebody's stalking you, or you're stalking them. Yeah, because you're thinking about giving them this offer, and you want to be successful. You want a victory with them. You want things to go well. Maybe intuitively you're thinking that they have another option. Hmm. Lots of love here. Lots of love. What is this? Um, what's this judgment card here for? Remember I said you got a second chance at something? Something to do with traveling? You had to travel to get a second chance at something? Hmm, temperance, it's all about balance, okay? You had to wait for the situation to balance out possibly. Again, with the conflict. Hmm. There's something around this situation that's making it difficult for you. There's either outside parties like butting in, putting in their opinion, or there's somebody that's not accepting of this relationship. I think you're going to get a lot of like, um, I think you're going to get a lot of clap back. Why is this tower here? Hmm. Maybe someone doesn't want to give up their independence.
Oh. Maybe they were waiting for you to get your money right for it to be more equal. Oh, yeah, because the temperance, right? The balance. Maybe some people are viewing this person as a gold digger. Things aren't what they seem. Yeah, I think maybe some people are afraid that this person's after your money. <laughs> King of Pentacles. Yeah. Uh oh. I feel like you're coming into a really good period where you're going to be the best version of yourself, right? And that's going to attract a lot of people. It's going to get you a lot of attention. And I think maybe some people around you are concerned that this person's after your money. Queen of Pentacles. Mm hmm. Might be a little materialistic. And you know what? If I'm thinking back, I think it was you, Cancer, that had the reading that um, you were concerned that you couldn't provide for them the lifestyle that they want. I think that was you, Cancer. Because you were going through some money troubles. Yeah, it was Cancer. And now you're doing well, and this person's like back or something like that. Mm hmm. Okay. King of Swords is cutting out things that uh, don't work for you. And the Ace of Swords. Okay. There's going to be some communication here. Or you're going to cut somebody off. The Sun. Okay, so that um, King of Swords and the Ace of Swords, I pulled on this conflict. So I think that there are a lot of people surrounding you that want to give you their opinion, that are butting their nose into your affairs, right? Um, overbearing family, friends, something like that. And you're going you're gonna to tell them what's up, you know? You're going to have a good talk with them and you're going to let them know. This is my choice. This is my life, right? And that's, you're going to find happiness after that. You're going to have to set some boundaries, Cancer, I feel like, with these nosy people. And then things will transform. Could also be involved with the Scorpio here, the Scorpio's card. Okay. But I do see that there's going to be like a solid, happy home life here. And there's that offer. They're so shiny. <laughs> I want to know why the Queen of Wands and the High Priestess are here. About this offer. You're listening to your intuition about this proposal or this marriage offer, whether you're on the giving or receiving end of it, you're listening to your intuition. You're letting your intuition guide you. Yeah. I think maybe things are coming back around with this person and that concerns somebody, like your family or your friends. Mm -hmm. You're making it happen. Manifesting. There's the marriage. Yeah, you're going to marry this person. All right, let's pull a romance angel for So I think you had something unexpected happen to you that set you back for a little while, and you had to, like, kind of wait. 
until that passed, but you're doing really well. You're coming into like being the best version of yourself, I feel like, Cancer. And um, whoever this person is that you are either going to accept their proposal or you're proposing to them, depending on which end of the spectrum you're on there, um, it concerns some people. But I think you're going to stand up and you're going to set some boundaries and you're going to say, listen, this is my life. This is what makes me happy. I'm doing it. And um, I think you guys are going to be married. All right. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Yeah, I think some of you are just using your intuition. You just know this is your person, no matter what everybody else says. Getting to know each other. As you get to know each other and spend time together, your bond deepens. Forgiving and learning. As you release and let go of the past, you experience more love and, oh, in your present romance. Okay. So maybe there's something happened between the two of you and you've had to like, I do feel like like things are coming back around you know I, I got that strong like there was some kind of setback between the two of you but you guys worked it out um, but I think there's some people around you that are concerned about this connection for whatever reason and um, you're just listening to your gut you're just listening to your intuition you're going for it um, but it does look like it's true love and that it's gonna be the romance of a lifetime so you know do you cancer don't worry about what everybody else got to say. At the end of the day, like I said, it's your life, right? All right. Well, that's what I got for you guys. Um, if this resonated, let me know in the comments. And um, let's see. If you want to be notified when I upload new videos, you hit the bell shape there and you'll get a notification. And I do the water signs every Wednesday. So check that out. And that's what I got for you. So until next time, Cancer, take care.